Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to consider how to auto refresh your SSRS report data in our report. So once we create our report, we deploy the report to the server and when people open the report, it is going to get or fetch the data from our source. Once it is done, it's going to be static there if there would be any update or delete or insert happen to the data it is not going to refresh you automatically till somebody re hit the refresh button so in the scenario think about uh, like like you are displaying uh, this dashboard uh, on your company's uh, monitor somewhere and uh, even uh, you are loading the data you are uh, doing uh, inserts updates and uh, deletes uh, the dashboard is not uh, getting the current data so maybe your ETL process has loaded the data, but uh, SSRS report will be still showing uh, the previous data or you go ahead uh, and uh, refresh uh, manually. So that's uh, what we want to do. We want to set the time for refresh uh, in our uh, report. Uh, so let me go back uh, and show you the query we are going to use first uh, to create this report. Uh, so this is select query. We, are, we have it and uh, it is selecting the data from a total sale table. Now go to SSDT SQL Server Data Tools Reports Add New Item and here in the report uh, provide the name. I'm going to call this one Auto Refresh. Hit OK. Right click on Data Sources Add Data Source. Call this one uh, DS Sales. Use uh, Share Data Source Reference. Select the Sales. Right click on the data set, add data set and provide the name first. Let's call this one D set sales data source and paste your query. All good. Now right click in the design surface insert and bring the table. So this is going to be a very simple report we are creating here and we'll make some changes in the numbers and see if it refresh automatically or not. So this is all done. And what I want to do here, I would like to change the color of my header. So now our report is ready. If you will preview the report, uh, this is the data you are going to see. And uh, now this is a refresh button. And uh, you can see that we have these records. Uh, and none of the value is uh, 20 here. And uh, I'm going to go back to the table and uh, right click on the table, say added top 20, uh, 200 records. Uh, and I'm going to change the value from 10 to 20. So what happened now? We close this one, execute our select query again. And we see that there is one value in the item sold is 20. We come back to the report and it is still sitting there. So it's not going to refresh. This is exactly going to happen in our report server as well. It's not going to refresh till uh, you do not uh, go ahead and refresh uh, it uh, so to refresh uh, our report on some interval we have to set a property and uh, this is how we are going to do it uh, so go to the design and then uh, right click uh, anywhere uh, here and say report properties uh, and one of the property is uh, one time th this is kind of annoying it brings <laughs> different properties uh, sometime you want to go to the extended properties and let's say we are here and press F4 so it's mm -hmm. going to bring these report properties and now we have auto refresh that is set to zero so this is in seconds how often we would like to refresh our reported data so I'm going to refresh every three seconds so once it's done now we go ahead and preview the report and we see that the 20 is there but we would like to go back and change it now you see that every three seconds it's kind of blinking and bringing the data so that's how it is going to run so you can adjust according to your requirement so let me go back and make the change in the data again so add it and from 20 i'm going to come back to 10 again and from 7 i'm going to go to the 8 and this is it so we are done here we select our data and we can see that we have 10 and 8 here if I go back to the report and now you would see that it is already refreshed because we have set the interval refresh the data every three seconds 
so that's how it is getting the current data from the table or our source so thanks very much for watching this video and i hope this tip will be helpful in real time when you are working on some project and you have to refresh the data on some interval i will see you guys in the next video